If you've got any extra money lying around in a savings account and it's not paying you at least 1.6% in interest right now, then this video should help you out because there is no reason why you shouldn't be taking full advantage of a high yield savings account because there's plenty of them online and they're all paying at least 1.6% in interest right now as I'm making this video. So in this video, I'm covering all of the best high yield savings accounts that I've found online, but just keep in mind that in order to make this list, they have to have a checking account associated with the savings account, and then they're all FDIC insured, and they're available to everyone in the United States. Because I'll be honest, if you just do a little bit of research, you can find banks out there that are gonna have slightly better rates than the ones that I'm talking about, but a lot of the time they're not gonna have checking accounts and sometimes they don't work in every single state. So that's why these ones meet these criteria. That way they're all the best overall for you guys and we're not gonna exclude anyone. Now, if you just found this channel, I'm Jason with Honest Finance and I make a lot of videos on different topics that'll give your life and your finances more value. So if you have any interest in this type of content, feel free to subscribe. But for now, let's just start talking about the best high yield savings accounts that I've found. If you wanna know what a high yield savings account is, it's just a fancy way of saying it's a bank account that pays high interest and there's really nothing more complicated about it. Because if you actually called up your bank today and asked them how much interest you're making on your savings account, they'll probably tell you that it's close to zero. And that is a total ripoff because there's so many banks out there that will actually pay you a lot more with a lot of the same features and benefits. So there's no reason not to. I mean, obviously, if you only have a thousand bucks in your bank account, it's probably not worth your time to earn about 16 bucks a year in interest. But on the flip side, if you have $10,000 in your bank account, it probably is worth your time to make about 160 bucks a year in interest just because you're looking at a high yield savings account versus one that's not paying you hardly any interest. One thing to keep in mind though is that these rates are all variable. So they're gonna fluctuate based on the economy and they can go up and they can go down. So depending on when you watch this video, the rates could be slightly different, but let's just cross our fingers that they go up rather than down because that's always better for all of us. Also, just be aware that banks can change their terms at any time. So anything that I'm talking about in this video, it can change just based on whatever they wanna do. But as of now, the information is accurate, but I'm just warning you that it can change over time. And as far as the list of banks goes, I'm gonna start with the lowest interest rate and then I'm gonna to go to the highest interest rate. But just keep in mind that these are great banks and they're all really good options. So just keep that in mind, but I am gonna leave links for them in the description below. So check them out if you have any interest. So the first bank that I wanna talk about is a very popular one online and they're called Ally Bank. And currently they have a savings account rate of 1.6%, which is extremely competitive. But a lot of the time I've seen them being a little bit more competitive because I have followed them for quite a while, but that's what their rate is currently. Ally Bank doesn't require any monthly minimum balances. They don't charge any monthly fees. And then on top of that, if you use their checking account, they actually pay an interest rate that's about as high as you can get for a checking account. So if you do end up using their checking account, they'll actually pay you a tenth of a point for any balance under $15,000. And then if you're over $15,000, they'll actually pay you half a point, which is very, very good for a checking account. So if you wanna get a really good rate on your savings account and your checking account, then definitely check out Ally Bank because they are a very good option for the online space of high yield bank accounts. Now the next bank I wanna talk about is actually Discover. And I had no idea that credit card companies actually had bank accounts but they do and Discover is actually really competitive and they have a really good checking account as well. Right now their savings account is at 1.7%, which is really competitive. And then on top of that, they advertise very heavily that they do not charge any fees. So that means they don't have any monthly fees, anything like that, and they don't require any minimum balances as well. Now Discover's checking account doesn't currently pay any interest, but the cool thing is, is that they do have a debit card that pays you 1% cash back for up to $3,000 in purchases every single month. So for a debit card connected to a checking account, that's about as good as it gets as far as rewards go. Their debit card can also be used at over 60,000 ATM locations. And then on top of that, Discover also makes it very clear that their checking account doesn't have any fees as well. I'll also mention that Discover has some of the best CD rates as well. So if you're willing to lock up at least 2,500 bucks into one of their CD accounts, then right now you can earn 2% interest on only a 12 month CD. And that is really competitive when it comes to CD rates. So keep Discover in mind if you wanna do one of those. The next bank that made my list is Capital One because they have a savings account right now that pays out 1.7%. And then on top of that, they also don't have any monthly fees and they don't require any minimum balances as well. 
Capital One also has a checking account that pays out two tenths of a point and that's on any balance. So no matter how much money you have with them, you are gonna get a very competitive rate when it comes to a checking account and that's just really good all around. Capital One also has physical locations as well. So if you're the type of person that likes to go into the bank to take care of things, you can do that with Capital One, but just keep in mind that they're not located in every state. So some of you might be able to do that, some of you won't, but I'm just letting you know. Now the last bank on my list of high yield savings accounts goes to CIT Bank, but don't get that confused with Citibank because these are two different entities that we're talking about here, and I'm talking about CIT Bank. They currently offer a savings account that has a yield of 1.8%, but then they also have a money market account that's actually getting 1.85% right now, so that's the best you can get through CIT Bank. Now I'll tell you right now that in order to get the best rates from CIT Bank, you do have to have a minimum balance of at least $25,000, which honestly, I don't think that's very good. But the good news is, is that if you just make a minimum deposit of at least 100 bucks per month, then you can get their highest rates, and I don't think that's very hard to do. And honestly, if your goal in the end is to be making money off of your high yield savings account, then depositing just 100 bucks a month shouldn't really be that hard to do anyway. CIT Bank also pays out a quarter of a point on their checking accounts if you have over $25,000 in them. And then if you have less than $25,000, they'll actually pay a tenth of a point, and that's really good as well. Overall, CIT Bank is a really good option to go with because they've got the best rate that you can get at 1.85%. And then just keep in mind that their checking account also pays out a really good rate as well. Now those are the best high yield bank accounts that I've found personally that have checking accounts associated with them. But if you guys wanna do your own research, I'm sure there's other banks out there, but those are the four that I wanted to talk about. But if you wanna do some quick research on the banks that I mentioned in this video, then go ahead and check out the description because I'll have links for all of them below. Now once again, I'm Jason with Honest Finance and I make a lot of videos on different topics that'll give your life and your finances more value. So if you have an interest in that type of content, feel free to subscribe, but thank you for watching and have a great day.